Are we doing, like, just solely how much we would like to sleep in the same bed as them? Mm. Or, like, like, dang, they would be a great person to be married to. It's gonna be definitely just straight up just, your... Alright, uh, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> All of the animals are automatically a zero. For you, maybe. Y yikes. <laughs> So this is just going to kind of generally explain how we're going to be rating it. We're going to basically, Gabe and I are, are going to kind of draw out. Gabe, what color do you want to be? Wait, sorry, hang on. There's, oh, a, there's a rainbow color. I you just want wanted to say, wow, you chose some really strong examples as the extremes. That rainbow was disgusting. Just, just make me green for Gabe and red for Richard. I'll do blue for me. Cool. We got our colors. Me doing, doing, doing the blues and Gabe's doing the green. So we're going to be circling um based on this the rating scale of one to ten of how hot we think the unit is how they make us happy versus unhappy that's exactly it just happiness no, nothing beyond it for valentine's exactly. day okay starting off we're gonna go through dragon empire all right gabe scale of one to ten how hot is nirvana i think i'm gonna give nirvana a six by and large i think nirvana is Pretty. I think the wings are very nice. I uh -huh. think the the horns are very sleek and nice. My problem is that fucking Dorito chest torso. <laughs> it just the proportions were so good until you got to the torso, oh, and that okay. just brings it down. Just to clarify, your problem is Nirvana's um, chest area. Yes. Okay, just making sure. I am body shaming Nirvana. <laughs> I guess I'm up. You know, I'll give I'll give Nirvana a seven. And here's why. I think this is the first time we've ever had like a fire dragon in Vanguard that generally had a really good color scheme. So th that's fair. That's already attracted me to the card. The second thing I would say is probably just the fact that it's using feathers. And I feel like there aren't very many like dragons in Vanguard that I can think of off the top of my head that are using feathers as wings. I'm just saying that's a really weird scale to use for fuckability. I feel like those feathers are doing something for me, man. I'm learning a lot about you today that I really wish I didn't know. <laughs> I, I was going to accept a seven until you gave your really weird explanation and now i'm just uncomfortable so so is this not a safe space no <laughs> let's let's move on to to something a little more anthropomorphic eugene honestly i'm like i'm gonna just give eugene a straight 10 not just for the fact that one he's human but two actually you know what i take it back i'm gonna go an eight because I just remembered that he's holding a gun, which reminds me that if Eugene probably was a real person, he would probably be very pro-gun and probably be a member of the NRA. You so know what? That's that fair. lost two numbers for me. I'm actually also going to give Eugene a solid eight. Like, objectively, the man can get it. He pulls off an eye patch. His hair looks good. Mm -hmm. He has strong jawline. Like he is, uh, he, Eugene can get it. Yeah. But like, I'm, I knock one point off for the NRA and a second point off for being named Eugene. Oh yeah, my boyfriend, Eugene. Eugene. All right, so let's move on. We're on Overlord now. Here's the thing. Yeah. Is much like with Eugene, there is a solid amount of this that is being like reduced because of their personality and because this is the third time we've seen draconic overlord he's that boyfriend that will text you i miss you after breaking oh. up two years ago and do that repeatedly every couple months okay. so i cannot in good consciousness put overlord at anything above a five right. but also like you know i'm getting kind of sold on the feather things now because Overlord's wings are weird. They look kind of frayed and torn in a way that isn't good. His mm -hmm. tail is like weirdly long for his body. I'm giving Overlord a four. All right, Gabe's going with a four. Dragonic go four, Lord. <laughs> I actually didn't think about that until I chose a four, so I'm glad it worked out. First off, he has a sword. This is just my personal thing. So it's already a 10. <laughs> Right, we're working our way down. You're so used to seeing Overlord, and it's kind of like the same thing as when the stock photo image of like the same guy over and over again. Yeah. I keep seeing you come up and I'm kind of over it. So I think I am just gonna go with like a three just because I am over 
I am over Overlord. Damn, Richard gave a three to somebody with a sword. That's crazy. Oh yeah, the sword is also just kind of like a very, it looks like a giant kitchen knife. It, you know what? You're right. Like it really does look <laughs> like, like a butcher's blade. That isn't even a sword. Uh, and last but not least for Dragon Empire, Baz Bragra. Um, All right. I'll start with this one, I guess. Um, God. Okay, fine. Yeah, no, my turn. Blue flames, immediate 10. I like the wings, like the aesthetic of the wings on her head. You know what? It's another Dragon Empire card with feather wings. So that's doing it for me again. Not that Vanguard units have gender because I forgot when or why we figured out or it was announced that I units think we on Cray. I think over the past like six years, we all just collectively agreed that that's fucking stupid and just ignored that. The butcher was like, oh, units on Cray don't have genders. I'm like, no, it's a female human. So that's that's got to work for me, too. I like the color blue. There's a lot of blue going on in this card. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and put 11. Sure. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be an eight for me. I'm into mm. the tattoos. That's always a plus Ooh. for me. Uh, I think she has really nice eyes and like solid facial features there is there's just a kind of a je ne sais quoi going on that it just is making it so that it can't go higher like mm -hmm. it's objectively an, a, attractive on the abstractive end it just like this isn't like i i'm not pining for this there is no yearning going on so yeah i'm gonna give it a solid eight i feel like there's something about babs raga's energy that just she seems toxic Something about her just seems that way, and that just, for whatever reasons, attracts me. All right. We're on Violence Bruce. Bruce can get it. Yeah? Like, not even gonna, like, lie. Like, we can't see his mouth, but you can tell, like, those features are strong. Those eyes are piercing. His hair is just, like, so perfectly combed. The guy is jacked to hell and could rip you in half. Bruce <laughs> is, like, a nine. A nine? Bruce is a solid nine. Yeah, he's definitely up there for me too. The man is, I'm wondering if the horns are a part of his body or if it's like part of like the gear. I think it's a part of his body because his race is a demon. Yeah, honestly, that's even better for me. What's, what is flavor text saying? Come at me seriously or you won't be able to withstand my full power. Honestly, that I'm sorry, that's bringing it up to a 10 for me. <laughs> like, the, like this guy with that flavor text alone, not only is he just mad hot, he's also a generous lover. This guy will put effort into it. So Bruce Bruce is the first 10 for me. I will also go ahead, I'll be up there with you. I'm gonna give Bruce a nine. My only thing would just be that I feel like even though Bruce does seem like he'd be an amazing lover, but the reason I'm going down to a nine is because I also feel like in the downtime, Bruce seems like that guy that just wouldn't shut up about football. But also remember, we're doing just on attractiveness, so like you could just leave after. That's true, but I just did like, just that knowing that alone probably you know that's wouldn't fair. make that'll, me attracted to him that'll, <laughs> as that'll much. Put, that'll put an image in your mind. You know what, that's fine, that's fine. What's next on uh, the Dark States? Barrow Magnes. Barrow's a seven. Like he isn't ugly. I would actually, because five is average, I'm actually gonna say Barrow is a six. Barrow like, is a six? He is above average in terms of attractiveness. So like six, seven, 6.5 or whatever. But like, there isn't much there. He's, his body is toned enough. You can tell based on that angle, he doesn't have an ass. His face is like <laughs> fine. He kind of just is a dude. His hair's doing some weird stuff that I'm not uh -huh. necessarily into. I don't think he would take the goggles off during. So I'm gonna give it a 6.5. He is an attractive, he, he, like he's above average, but there's nothing to write home about. Well, my first thoughts, one, this is just a me thing. Why is his index and middle finger the same length? I don't think they are. I mean, I'm like, I'm holding up my fingers right now and they're not anywhere near as tall or as tight together as 
Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's a perspective thing on the art, but they are weirdly close to his full ass head and height. I don't know. Barrow isn't really doing it for me either. What is his thing? Is he like a psychic? Like, That's what, what is I he? was assuming. I have no idea. I'm guessing he's a psychic. I feel like that would entice me a little bit. Like I'd be like, I don't want to stay for the long run, but I would, I'll try it. You know what I mean? Right. So, but I feel like I'm there with you. I'm kind of like, I'll do like a six. I'm like, I feel like seven just feels too generous. <laughs> like, I agree. That's why I did, well, I'm at a 6.5. Right, moving on to Greed On. I feel like this may or may not be controversial. I don't know. I am going to give Greed On a three. The reason okay. being is that just the hat screams neck beard. Like, oh, his yeah. entire it is the kind of thing a guy who has just showered for the first time in a week would say after putting on i clean up nice this would have been hot in the 30s that neck is so thick and his face is so flat relatively to it it's like he looks like a cartoon character who has just been stung by a bunch of bees so mm. i'm giving greed on a three I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make up my own little thing. I'm gonna go 2.5. Sure. I'm I'm not gonna do a straight one, just because I feel like at least Greedon seems intelligent. The fact that he's able to dress himself. Yeah, know? that and also the flavor text would at least kind of imply that for better or worse, he knows what he's doing. Uh -huh. So like, if I had to, I'd probably like it enough. So yeah. Who's next though? Right after Green On, we're going into Keter Sanctuary. So oh boy. we got Apex Ruler Bastion. I'm gonna give just be as objective as possible and give a six because like even if his face was hideous, I think his body has it going on. You can tell based on the proportions of the armor that like he his body is well kept. He knows what he is doing. I can't imagine that he's that ugly underneath genuinely but like because we don't know what his face looks like maybe he's hiding something i'm gonna go with an eight i'm gonna go with an eight because i'm gonna go off what you said about the helmet now i'm just picturing bastion down to like boxer briefs but the helmet stays on the whole time haunting first and foremost man's holding a sword blue color scheme it's a knight like obviously i'm gonna be a little bit more attractive but the reason we're not going with a 10 out of 10 is because i don't know what he looks like like yeah the mystery is there like kind of like the whole mandalorian thing where like i don't know what he looks like but i do find him attractive you know actually i realized i have to go by a five because i forgot that Catter sanctuary oh. turned a literal monarchy into even more of a dictatorship so like this guy B bastion's a fucking cop and think about that neither did i i'm about to change my answer too like five is a, like i have to make him a five to be objective here but like if we're rank if we're degrading eugene because of the nra and bruce for football we kind of have to do <laughs> the same with a knight for a king like, it ha we have to be fair about that. Right, right. Next up is Hexorb. Let's see. A new revelation slumbers within the forums that are already known. She sounds pretentious. Yeah, like, she's a philosophy kid. I'm gonna go with a four. I'm gonna, like, I'm, I'm gonna go with a, a six for this one. The clothing choice is very, very weird. Actually, I'm gonna make it a seven. I'm gonna take that back. It's right. one, it's like one, one and a half for the clothing. One, one and a half for the, uh, the the philosophy pretension. But like, you can tell based on the clothing and like the skin tightness of the thigh highs what the figure looks like for the most part. And like, I think she has a good figure. I think she has a, a, a nice, but ultimately unremarkable face. Like, mm -hmm. it's kind of like with Barrow Magnes as to why like, it's not bad. There's just nothing that's like alluring me. So one point off for outfit, one point off for pretension, one point off for not bad, but general unremarkability. Uh, next up, Phantom Blaster Dragon. Repeat everything I said for Dragonic Overlord. Like, it's the same thing. The wings are ugly you gave a for four a different for reason. Yeah, so I'm gonna give a four for PBD, just cause like, again, I'm sick of seeing the guy 
the wings aren't the wings are bad but for a different reason let me read the flavor text again just so i can get a better idea the abyss dragon written in the legends declaring that there are times when despair surpasses the light um very edgy obviously that's not attractive to me whatsoever so we're already not even above a seven i think i also gave overlord a three i'm just go with three for pbd actually i'm just gonna go with the two because i think i like pbd less than I do Overlord. I feel like Phantom Blast Dragon is just Overlord, but just somehow more of a dick. That's very fair. You know, I'll join you in the two category. I kind of didn't consider that, but... Gotcha. We're both basically pointing out that Phantom Blast Dragon is just not hot at all. Yeah. Next up, we don't have them out yet, but it's kind of obvious that MLB is going to be a ride line grade three, so... Yeah, uh, I'm gonna put him in the exact same category as six because there's nothing bad there, but there's nothing to remark upon. Okay, we're going with six? For me. All right, for me, visual attractiveness, I will go with like a seven. I think that's what it is for me. I'm gonna go with seven just because I do like the way he looks and I honestly feel like, you know what? Regardless of how MLB is as an individual, I would at least be like, yeah, at least he's a hot, you know? Fair. We're moving on to the best one, Magnolia. Magnolia's a one because that's a dog. <laughs> Anything else? No. For anybody watching this, if you need me to justify one in a, why on an attractiveness scale a dog is anything over but less than a one, <laughs> you got issues. Magnolia like would be a cool pet. But that's bestiality. Thank you, Dasso21. I think Magnolia is a is a very good dog and a, a, gets a lot of head scratches and good petting, and that's it. So could we could we put a uh, ten for heads heads head pets? What, ten out of ten deserves great scratching. Gotcha. Ten out of ten. Whoa. Ten out of ten for head pets. Uh, zero on the attractive scale. I'm gonna just one up you and do a point five. Just so I'm not, not as much as a furry as you are. You got me there. <laughs> uh, Mysterious Rain's spiritualist, Zorga. Nine. Zorga can get it. Zorga, like the only thing that brings Zorga down for me is those fucked up feet. Oh, Zorga yeah, can, you can get it. See it. The guy Back can here. dress well if you like punks, which I do. The tattoos are hot. That face like he's the kind that has the face that screams he's so hot i can fix him zorga yeah. can get it how do i feel about zorga I'm, I'm gonna go with an eight just because i don't know how i feel about the necromancy i just feel like that would kind of like at some point if it came up like it's something that i would have to put at the back of my mind that's like, fair I'm, I'm not into it you know like if i was really into the necromancy stuff sure that would probably put me up at a 10 thousand right i feel like he would definitely not take any of your feelings into account you know what fine by me you just put him up to a nine just for that <laughs> <laughs> you figured it out that's my thing at this point my only <laughs> problem is the feet flagberg dragon i'm gonna make flagberg a three it's still better oh wait a minute no flagship and aqua force uh, Flag Flagberg is also a cop. Flagberg is a one. Flagberg mm. is not like good looking. It's a vi it's very very disproportionate. I don't know what's going on with that head thing. That neck right. is weirdly thick. You don't you literally much like with Bastion, we can't see what's under the water, so we don't know if it's like a turtle, and it just has a long ass oh, head. Oh right. Um. It, it, it's not good. Visually looking at Flagbird, he's cool. Is he hot? Absolutely not. Like it's all neck and no body. How would Flagbird wear a tie? Would he wear it right under his chin or would he wear it around like his torso? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, Flagbird is a one. Brankate. We'll start with the good one, Seraph Snow. Uh, Seraph Snow, fun fact, is 17, so one. That is a child. Can you provide proof, sir? M most importantly, she is a cop. She, but if, yep, same thing. He said if, she's a cop. Would you <laughs> Would you like to put her in the first 0.5 category? You seem pretty you know, adamant. 
I, I wanted to keep the spectrum there and just use that, but if we are going off, we can make it a zero. I'm gonna put pos zero. And that's it. I have nothing more to say about this. So if anybody's ever made a joke about Seraph Snow sending you to horny jail, congrats, you're going to regular jail. <laughs> I accidentally used the blue first for your thing, but I, honestly, it's fine. I was gonna do the same thing. I was gonna put a one. What's Arda. wild is that if you didn't see the lore, you would you would never assume oh, that that was supposed yeah. to be why did they an draw adolescent. her like this can we do the the clip from that one college humor skit that's just like why did you draw her like this that's a child technically he's 475 years old then why did you draw him like this we're done i'm i'm done with seraphs now we spent too much time on this one orphist i'm gonna say a, a a three honestly i'd give it a two like Oh. Like, it's not evil in the same way a cop is. It's not illegal like a child or a dog is. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing good. I really don't see anything attractive here about Orphis either. This is interesting, you know, to say the least. But yeah, I think I would go with the two as well. Like, I wouldn't be like, like, oh wow, yeah, like I'm I would let Orphis buy me a drink, but I would try to get away as much fast as possible. That's fair. Uh we're on Gravidia now. Uh okay, so I'm gonna preface this by saying that I am not a monster fucker by any means. So I'm gonna try to be as objective about this as possible and put myself into the lens of somebody that would be attracted to monsters or aliens or whatever. I do think Gravidia is at least a seven. I think okay. Gravidia has the upper half that's like humanoid enough that would intrigue me even as a non-monster fucker. Yeah, I'm gonna give us like uh, try to give as much of an objective possible with a seven. My first thought is I have no idea what's going on at the bottom half of Gravidia. Um, but You're because we're trying to. to find out if she's attractive or not, I can't not look at the bottom half of her and think Gravussy. Eight, sorry, I, I changed mine to an eight. <laughs> <laughs> she needs that uh, Nordling Gossier. She really needs it. <laughs> Here's the thing though, I'm not into tentacles, but if, she can if, change if me. Nordlinger was to come on to me and really was like, but I feel like it's something that I've never tried, but it's not looking at her immediately. I'm not opposed to it. I'm going to go with a nine. I'll give it a stretch. I'll give it a 9.5, like almost a 10. Well, let's see. Let's, what does the flavor text say? Pay close attention to, to the manifestation of our utopia. Honestly? So oh, she's a comrade? 10. <laughs> I take back anything that was in Nag. Uh, Gravidia would make me a monster fucker. All right, so Gravidia is for sure hot then, is what yes. we're saying. Absolutely. All right, here's the not so fun part of this video. Lyrical Monasterio. All right, Loretta, that is a child one. Boom and boom. They, you know, we're gonna go with like, negative one just the the cat ears and the cat aesthetic is absolutely a turn off for me i'm i'm fine enough with the cat stuff i'm reserving zero for um uh what what would the word be um moral objection so mm -hmm. like I, i'm reserving that for cops and stuff uh wisteria child yeah that's a child we'll um we'll we'll, we'll do a one that's a child child same thing we're really just rapid firing the the lyrical stuff, huh? It's also helping that they're all children and there's nothing more to talk about. Right, Clarissa. The uh, school uniform. Is she, a, is she a child? Yeah, the school uniform's doing it. But like, ugh, this this is another case of why did you draw her like that? Yeah, that's what's making me uncomfortable. Is like, there is enough. Um, what is, what would the word be? a blissful ignorance that you could be like no she looks 18 but like no she's not why did you draw her like this bushy where are we at morally standing uh, 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 what i'm gonna i'm gonna I, i'm gonna make it definitive that she is a child i'll stick there with you honestly herminia mommy is she of age she has to be bushy she ha that's, has that's to that's a be school uniform my guy 
She could be a teacher. I don't think the teachers wear the the skirts though. Maybe she just likes skirts. <laughs> You're really fighting for this one, huh? Listen, if she's a child, it's a one. Unlike Clarissa though, this one has to be an adult. There All is right. no plausible deniability here. Child is one. What's your rank on adult? Going under the assumption that this is an adult, this is a nine at least. She can step on me. <laughs> but let, let, let's be real here. If you're a weirdo, there is plausible deniability. There just isn't with this. This mm -hmm. has to be an adult. Same boat with the one we all been new. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a 10. <laughs> like, there is no yeah. way in hell this is not... There is no way in hell this is a child. If this is a child, there's no reason to keep living, I guess. That, that's... Right. She just killed me. There is one we're missing. That is... <laughs> a, that's a child. We're, we're not even gonna go, go there. Let's just boom. One. Kiwame? That's, a, that's an... He's an eight. He's an eight? We're going with eight. All right. I'm gonna say he's... Like, it's an eight because he's very pretty. He isn't, like, he's just pretty. He isn't hot, but he is pretty. I'm happy with an eight. Yeah. I definitely feel like the point of these were, I mean, obviously, is that these characters are supposed to kind of swoon you, like, as, like, romance But they're boys. doing their job. I'm going to go on to the next one. We got Kiwame. What does Kiwame mean, then? I have no idea. His flavor text is, I'm only trying to match my master's ambitions, nothing else. Now, what'd you say we go conquer the world? I'm gonna so he's make a dictator. This one, that, but also, I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna make him a six then. This is my problematic wood. <laughs> I feel like he's too aggressive for me. I'm actually gonna put him at a five. I feel like he'd be a bro if you're okay with the whole like conquering the world thing. For sure. I, I think we're good here. I'm just five. seeing a bunch of red flags, so I'm just going with a five. We got Yama, Yamam Bagiri Kunihiro Iwame. Flavor text says, I've stopped thinking about whether I'm a duplicate or whatever. I'm your I'm sword. Gonna, that alone is enough child. for me. My dude, um, that's a child. He's 16 at most. Like, there is no way this person is more than 16. This guy is a, this is a, I'm sorry, this is a child. Uh, they're swords. They're at least 100 years old plus. So, lore-wise. <laughs> oh, see, so I, I looked it up now. He, because he's a sword, his exact, it isn't his birthday. It's his forge day, which is 1590. So, technically, he's 500 years old. Are you gonna make that argument? Are are you gonna be the one to make that argument, Richard? Peter says that Token Rambu is a set in the past, and he's not 500 at the time of oh. the story. Well, never mind then. I so, feel like my point, by and large, would still stand. Anyways, I'm done. I'm done talking about this boy. All right, yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna stick with the the ones. I'm learning more about the Token Rambu lore than anything in this in this yeah in this little video. Uh, this one has to be an adult. I need someone to tell me what Kiwa means. That's an adult. This guy's like 23. Um. Yeah, this is an eight for me. Much like with the first one, he's very, very pretty. Um, flavor text, behold the splendor of a true Katatsu. I'll show you my looks, don't deceive, master. Ooh, this is a pretty boy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm gonna give him an eight. This is another eight for me. He's very oh. pretty, but this isn't like, he's like the best of the, the Barrow Magnes and the MLBs where ultimately it's unremarkable because mm -hmm. it just kind of is a guy with some hair, but he does that as good as possible. I'm going with the 10 for a very obvious reason. <laughs> Look at the Which, color of his armor. Yeah, that's fair. We got a box art, dude. Oh, uh, Mikazuchi or whatever. I'm Mikazuchi. My name comes from the crescent moon shapes on my blade. Nice to meet you. That would sell me. You know, Mik Mikazuchi's also. I'm gonna, I'll give. I'll give a nine. I think he's. I think he's hotter. Too. I think he has like stronger facial features than the previous mm -hmm. one, which sets him a, just above that. I don't know anything about his personality, but by the fact that he just came off as very just genuine that already sold me or, or or monster the monster strike. monster strike yeah because this one is so overtly anime i'm inclined to believe that this guy is like actually 16. i'll uh, account for the possibility that maybe he no that's a uh, that's definitely a child that's a, that's a, i'm gonna go, do a one i'm honestly just gonna go with a one even if he's an adult because i don't know there's just something about 
the whole demeanor. Oh, it's really the hair. Real. I know what it is. It's the hair. I don't. I'm not attracted to the hair. Also, I'm looking up official monster strike art. This is a child. Um, demon of Kaza cut. I can't talk. Demon of causality. Causality. Lapis. La place. I'm gonna do a three just for the design. Like I'm inclined to believe this one's also a child, but mm. I do like the color scheme, and I think the demon aesthetic is at least fun. So like, this is a yeah. child. But I think it it looks cute. I do like the artwork. I don't know. Horns aren't doing it for you. No, it's the horn. Yeah, how'd you know the horns? At me moving my mouse over the horns. Yeah, the horns aren't doing it for me. Yeah. I'm gonna do a two. That's fair. Um, next one. That's a child. That's not, an, <laughs> that's not a child. That thing is three. Right. The arms don't even poke out of the sleeves. That's a next. Baby. Ben Zaiten. Baby. Mm, baby. Uh, next. That is a name. What the fuck? <laughs> how do we not? How do we know it's not the the green monster? Green monster eleven infant zero i love the green bear thing that thing is a baby yeah I'm, I'm going for a one for overall too that's never gonna do it for me yep 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 child children everywhere okay we're getting into the last two for oh, um, shaman king okay, shaman king so because Gabe is somewhat familiar with Shaman King, we're, we decided to, to expedite this one. We just knocked out all of the ones in Shaman King because we know they're children besides these two. The main character and most of his friends are like 13. This guy's like 20 and the next one's 34. I'm gonna give Ryu a seven. Point knocked down. Two points for the hair. Normally I would do one, but the pompadour the size of my torso deserves <laughs> two points down. Mm -hmm. And the chin beard isn't doing it for me. Neither is that stupidly large collar. But as far as facial construction goes, he is a very attractive man. Also, Ryu is best boy. Like I remember the manga enough. Like he would care about you. He would he would die for you. It's Ryu literally just him boy. wanting to f find his personal heaven. We're gonna go with the ten for me. I, I can go. I can get past the pompadour and the collar. I can get I can like it's it's a little off for me, but I feel like just because how genuine and like goal orientated this individual sounds, yeah, the way he described him, that's more attractive than anything else for me. I actually, I'll actually change mine to an eight because while I'm not into the chin beard and a lot of the hair things going on. Every good thing about him is enough to make up for some of that nag. So we're on the last one for right. Shaman King. Faust, Faust the eighth. So I was surprised to learn he was 34. I knew I figured he was like 27 or something. Or like 23, what am I talking about? So uh -huh. the issue with Faust is, and you can tell from the art, he is hung up on his ex. He literally became a necromancer because his ex died and he wanted to bring her back. On that note though, I do think he's attractive. Like he's hot in a femboy way. Like he wears lipstick well. He mm, can dress okay. pretty decently even if it's a bit silly. His hair looks good. Eyeliner is on point. I think I'm gonna give him a five because mm -hmm. as far as attractiveness goes, it's all good. It's just the problem is he he is too hung up on his axe. I'm gonna go with the seven. Seven feels right. I That's feel like fair. he is, like you said, he is attractive. He does seem like he has like a sense of like he knows what he's doing. But that's the wardrobe choice for me. That's like, I don't think I can see you as like, like anything past the seven. I just, I think that while he knows how to dress himself, his choices are a bit weird. Like if you gave him options, I think he would pick correctly. But if he was on his own, not mm -hmm. really. Like there's so many red flags outside of it that it's hard for me to give beyond that. All right, well, I think that's it. That was so, our uh, rating ride line grade threes based on how hot we think they are. Uh, if the, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. If this video gets 10,000 views by the end of February, we'll do this with VRs. Thanks everybody for joining. Appreciate you. Vibes. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.